So here's the uh, first assembly of my um, little uh, 5 8 inch bore horizontal engine with the uh, Daimler uh, gearless uh, cam disc to operate the exhaust valve. Um, <clears throat> I've got it all put together and I've got my drill on the back so I can uh, run it uh, you know through some cycles so you can see how how it looks. So here's Here's basically what it's going to look like when it's running, with, and I'll explain later what's going on. So here, here's, here's what it looks like. You can see, if you watch carefully, that the uh, push rod on the um, actuating the exhaust valve is only uh, opening the valve every other revolution of the engine. And it, it works very smooth, and even at high speed, it, you know, it, it seems to... Um, Seems to do exactly what it needs to do. So let me explain here kind of what it's, uh, <clears throat> what's really going on. Uh, you can see that there's, a, um, there's two tracks here that are connected right at this crossing point. And there's a half moon shaped uh, uh, protrusion on the back of this uh, valve train, or valve uh, push rod that follows that slot. And because of the shape of that, and because of the angle of attack here, when that uh, comes around, that uh, <clears throat> that little follower will follow the appropriate uh, uh, track, so that it goes basically it goes in and out as it crosses over these from two different directions. So <clears throat> this is just now. Uh, this is just finishing up the exhaust stroke. So now you can see the valve, the intake valve, or the exhaust valve is closed. So now we're coming down on the intake stroke. Here the engine is going to take in a charge of air. Now it's coming up on the compression stroke, and you see the exhaust valve is still closed. Now we're at the top dead center on the compression stroke, and here it's going to fire. So now we're on the power stroke. And now as you can see, as it gets near the bottom, the exhaust valve begins to close and right or open. And right here, the exhaust valve actually begins to open. <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> it'll continue to stay open now throughout this uh, forward stroke, exhausting all the gases. And then as it approaches top dead center, the exhaust valve will close. And now we're going forward on another, uh, another intake stroke. So basically, that's how it works. Uh, the only thing that's uh, pushing this back is the exhaust uh, valve spring up here. And of course on the intake, um, this is going to be an atmospherically controlled intake valve which is over on this side so that basically the vacuum created by the piston on the intake stroke um, pulls open the intake valve and pulls in a charge of uh, gas and uh, uh, gasoline and air. And these are, these are pretty common on a lot of the older engines uh, that used uh, a vacuum. Uh, operated intake valve so anyway that's the way it works as I say it uh, seems to be working just exactly the way I want it to so thanks for watching